Hi guys, welcome back to my server mentor and in this video I'm gonna talk about how to install WordPress or CyberPanel. Before we get started, make sure you have a hosting account with CyberPanel and have access to your CyberPanel dashboard. If you do not have access to the CyberPanel dashboard, then you need to install it on your VPS or dedicated server. You can check my previous video in which I have shown you the complete process of the installation. The link is already given in the description. Once you are all set, follow along with me. First we need to log in to our CyberPanel dashboard. Open your preferred browser and enter the URL link of CyberPanel dashboard. Once the login page appears, enter your credentials. Click on the sign in button. You can see the CyberPanel dashboard. Here to install the WordPress we need to go to this website section. And click on the create website button here. Select a package. By default you will see only one package name as default so select it. Select an owner. By default if you have no other user other than admin you will see just only one user that is admin. Select it and enter your domain name without www. In my case it will be Enter an email address that you want to use as an administrator email for that domain. Select a PHP version you want to use with your WordPress installation. I would prefer select at least 7.4 or PHP 8.0 because these are the most stable versions of PHP. So I'm going with PHP 8. If you want to create an email domain as well, such as mail.myservermentor, you can tick this uh, selection as well. And DKIM support is also linked with the email creation. So if you are not going with the email creation, do not select it. In our case, we don't need to select any of this. Just click on the create website button. It will take a couple of seconds to create the website for you. You can see that successfully installed message is displayed on the screen. Click on the go back button here. Alright, now in the left hand side on the navigation pan under the websites drop down click on the list websites button here. You can see that test.myservermentor.com is already created here. Now the website is created for you but WordPress is not yet installed. To install WordPress on it click on this manage button here. Scroll down a little bit and there you will see an option WP plus LS cache. Click on this icon. Enter the blog title that you want to give to your website. Maybe WP testing website. Enter the login username that you want to use with your WordPress login credentials. In my case, it will be admin. And enter a secure password for yourself. enter the email now please choose this email very carefully as you will be getting notifications regarding SSL or any other stuff like resetting your passwords on this email so this email should be chosen very carefully and it must exist 
but this does not mean that this email should be on your domain it can be any other domain like uh, uh, it can be any gmail domain or it can be any outlook email as well so do not enter anything under the path section and click install now button it will take a 5 to 10 seconds to install so let's wait you can see that wordpress is successfully installed on our website click on go back button and on the left hand navigation bar click on this websites drop down and click list websites here now to check that the wordpress files are actually installed under our domain we just need to click here file manager i will open it in a new tab and if i try to open this public html folder you can see that all the wordpress core files are installed here okay now the WordPress is installed under my this subdomain but actually this subdomain is not existing yet. So we need to create this subdomain or if you are installing this WordPress on your main domain unlike I am doing it on my subdomain, you need to change your DNS records. My domain is hosted on Namecheap so I am gonna create this subdomain for me on Namecheap account. Okay here, I will log into my Namecheap account. Once I'm logged into my Namecheap account, you can see that under my dashboard, this domain is already existing. Okay, click on the manage button here. Now remember, you will be following the exact steps on your own domain registrar. If you are on Namecheap, then you can follow my guide for this portion of the video. Click on this advanced DNS. And here I will be creating my subdomain. I will be creating an A record for the host test. I do not need to enter the whole domain like test.myservermentor.com. I just need to put the subdomain title here that is test and .myservermentor.com will be or will be automatically put by Namecheap. Now here on the IP address section I need to grab the IP address of my cyber panel hosting server. You can see that here the IP address of the cyber panel is already given. I will copy it. Paste it here and click on this tick mark. You will see that this subdomain is now ready and pointing towards this IP address. So normally DNS changes take about 10 to 15 minutes to propagate but in worst case scenarios it can may take between 22 between 24 to 48 hours as well. It's all depending upon your domain registrar. So let's see if we can access my domain here or not. If I copy this and paste it here and try to open it in the browser. Okay, you can see that my subdomain is working and DNS changes were propagated well. And here is the fresh WordPress installation page is also being displayed. Now to access the backend of that WordPress page, you need to enter the URL slash WP admin here. You need to enter the credentials that you choose while installing the WordPress.
all right now you are in the back end of your wordpress dashboard here you can install the theme or install any plugins of to your wordpress website and enjoy using the wordpress website now that our website is created and working fine but you can see that here not secure icon is displayed on your browser window this means that your ssl certificate is not installed for this subdomain cyberpanel also provides you the capability to install free let's encrypt ssl certificates for your domains or subdomains to install that ssl you need to click on this issue ssl button here it will take a couple of minutes to issue the ssl certificate and after that we will be refreshing the website page again here you can see a success message that ssl successfully issued now if you try to refresh this browser page You can see that after, even after the refreshing this not secure icon is still there. It does not mean that your SSL certificate is not properly installed. It's, it is actually installed but the browser is unable to redirect it from HTTP to HTTPS. To do this automatic redirects we first need to mention that in our web server settings. To do that once again click on this manage button here. scroll down the page and click on this rewrite rules open this select template drop down and select force http to https what this rule will do it will redirect your http website to https automatically even if you do not type https before typing the domain name of your website in the browser url so click on the save rewrite rules here now try to refresh the browser here you can see that the not secured icon is changed into this lock icon and it is saying that connection is secured so it will again ask you to enter your password to enter into the wordpress backend now you are logged in to your wordpress backend again and now this time with this connection is secure icon So this was it for this video guys. I hope you learned that how you can install your WordPress website on Cyberpanel and how you can issue SSL certificate to it as well. And also you must have learned that how you can manipulate or how you can create a subdomain on Namecheap account as well. If you have any questions please do ask me in the comment section below. Please hit a like button if you like this video and share this video in your groups as it will help me a lot. to spread this knowledge i'll be back soon with another exciting video till then goodbye